Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this uh, Victorinox Sportsman Swiss Army Knife. And if you've seen some of the other videos, uh, you'll have seen that mostly the knives have been coming in little boxes. Quite neat, quite small, quite compact. These are in these clamshell packaging, obviously for display. So today we're going to look at this uh, Swiss Army knife. I have opened it, uh, but I just wanted to show you what the packaging was like. That's the back of it. So here we have the Victorinox Sportsman Swiss Army knife. It's uh, from their medium range of knives and it is a Swiss manufactured product. The recommended retail on this is £28. I paid £20.99. It's a two layer knife. You can see the layers here. It has this beautiful Celador, red Celador scales. Internationally recognized. The size of the knife is 84 millimeters in length. It's 15 millimeters high, 26 millimeters wide, and weighs 52 gram. It's got 13 functions and only available in the red Celador scales. But you can swap the scales out, you can get different colors, and it is quite easy to replace them. So your first functions, and commonly known as tools, is in the Celador scales, on the front and the back. The ones on the front are the tweezers. Nice and springy, very efficient. On the back, the toothpick. And Victorinox class the key ring as a function. If we look at the uh, back of the knife first, uh, we have a corkscrew. And you can use these corkscrews for other things than just pulling cork out of a bottle, which is pretty rare now. Also, it'll accept some tools within the confines of the thread. Another thing of uh, note, although not classed as a tool, is this little pinhole just where my thumb is. So you can put a Victorinox stainless steel surgical pin in there. Also, you can put other pins, um, which you can buy relatively cheaply anywhere. So the other tool in this part of the knife is the awl, which is really useful. I've used this on some other Swiss Army knives and I've used it on two or three occasions now. So you can just screw a little hole in if you're putting a screw in or something like that. Also acts as a punch for going through denser material, leather typically or canvas. You can see the cutting blade there. And it has a sewing all just here. So you can actually sew leather and canvas, I guess. Not so sure I'll use that unless I'll give it a test, but so the reamer itself is very, very useful. So you just have the two tools on the bottom there. And on the top, with the two layers, the opening layer, which is the first one, has a tool on either side. 
this first one being a can opener and, and very useful at that. It's uh, I've used it on uh, the Bantam that I've got. Uh, I've tried another of the knives out and it, it is very, very useful. It's also got a three millimeter flathead screwdriver, which can also be used as a Phillips at a certain angle. And again, I've demonstrated this on the Bantam. You can see how the can opener works here. On the other side, we have a six millimeter flathead screwdriver that locks in place in a half lock so that you can get some leverage into turning a screw. We also have a wire cutter just there. And again, I've used that on the Bantam and it works tremendously well. These tools aren't as good as you'd find in your toolkit, but they do work and they'd get you out of a problem if you needed to use any of them. Also with this, you have a bottle opener and again, demonstrated uh, on the Bantam. Very effective. And it's not really classed as a tool, but if you can see where the flathead screwdriver is, this part here, there's a, you can see with that just light shining on it, there's a slight bevel down from here to a thinner part here, and this could be used for leveraging or scraping. Obviously light duty, nothing heavy, but it still could be used. So that's the opening layer. Let's just click them back. And then we only have one more layer, which is behind the opening layer. And with this, we've got a large blade which is their stainless steel drop point blade. Very sharp out of the box. All their knives are absolutely razor sharp out of the box. They can blunt off, but they're very easy to sharpen again. You can just catch the fine edge of the blade in the light. So these are very, very good straight out of the box. So these are non-locking blades, less than three inches, which makes them a UK legal carry. And within that second layer with the knife, and you can see how the knife is shaped to be offset to allow for another tool to be fitted in there. And it's remarkable how compact these are. That second tool in there is actually a file. Now this file is classed as a nail file and it's very, very good at doing that job. Indeed, as a preference, I'd always like to have a nail file on the Swiss Army knife. Also, you've got a pointed edge here for just getting under your nails, but also this point can be used on a Phillips screw, a small Phillips screw. You could also use it, and people do use it, for light work on plastics. It's not heavy duty, but it will deal with some jobs. So there's a lifetime uh, warranty against manufacturer defect on these knives. Plenty of spares available. Every component of that knife and most of their knives, but certainly these knives can be replaced. Excellent, excellent quality. The fit of these knives, you just have to look at the spacing. It's incredible what they can pack into such a small space. So what do I see this knife uh, being for? Well, I actually see it as a really good everyday carry because of its size, because of its lightweight, 52 gram, the two layers. The Bantam, which I've been carrying now for about a month, 
is a single layer knife. with a blade, which is the same blade, and a multi-tool. So that's been a really good everyday carry. Disappears in the pocket, so light you don't even know you've got it. Excellent little knife. But obviously, the Sportsman has got more functions. Just for one extra layer, same 84 millimeter. And for not much more weight, actually. So what I'll do with all these knives that I'm reviewing, doing initial reviews of, eventually I'll come back with a follow-up on every knife, having used it camping, having used it around the house, having used it walking, having used it in general life. So you will get follow-ups, but I need time to actually get to know the knives. And with immediately using this knife, I'm going to do some modifications to it. Simple ones, not difficult, just to slightly change it, just to give it a slight better usage, and just to make it look good. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to discard the tweezers and the toothpick that came as standard, and they do come standard like this. And I'm going to add a black toothpick. A pair of black tweezers. That's the heads anyway. A black lanyard these lanyards are really good they allow you to uh, pull it out of your pocket out of your bag whatever you need to do it just helps to uh, to get the knife out so on the corkscrew i'm going to add this little tiny flathead screwdriver is very useful and how and actually i've used it twice now to help people, other people, tighten up their glasses. It's fascinating to see the reaction when you pull it out and use the little tiny screwdriver. And if, if you notice, the handle of the screwdriver is designed to fit nicely inside the corkscrew. You just screw it in, tighten it, but not over tighten it, obviously, and then that can just drop back into place and you have your tool already within the knife. So that's created an extra function. And the last thing I'm going to do with this particular one for now, bear in mind, this is going straight into my pocket to be used, is a pin. Now, this is not the Victorinox stainless steel surgical steel pin this is just a cheap one that you buy in packs well, i think i got a pack of about 50 for two pound what's useful about this one over the victorinox one is it has this round ball it's a, it's a typical sewing thing but it has this round ball which means once you've inserted it in the pinhole just like that, you can see there. It's easier to get out because you can get hold of it through this ball. The Victorinox ones are flat headed, so you really have to have a nail to get underneath to lift it. However, the Victorinox ones disappear, you just don't see them. So that just snaps down. And that's uh, the minor modifications done for now. So guys, that's your Victorinox Sportsman Swiss Army Knife. Beautiful, isn't it? I just love them. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I know this series of uh, knife reviews 
uh, is in its infancy. But there will be a video on a review, modification, taking one apart, putting one back together, eventually rebuilding them, accessories, every Saturday. So it'll be a sack Saturday. Every Saturday, there will be a Victorinox item published. Hope you enjoy them and thanks again.